Hello everyone, for today's video I'm going to talk you through what to take on a cruise ship and what not to take with you. So I've been on a lot of cruises, I think I've been on maybe maybe like 30-ish cruises and I've been on lots of different cruise lines so I've been on UK and American cruise lines, I've been on Royal Caribbean, Princess, p and and lots of others. I feel like I have a good idea of what to take and what not to take on a cruise so I'm just gonna kind of like have them jumbled in together and I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So the first thing on not to take is any kind of kitchen appliances so don't take a kettle with you. If you're sailing from the UK it will have tea and coffee facilities in your cabin. You will have tea and coffee in there that you can make. You don't need to take a kettle. I know people have said to me before, do I need to take one? And no you don't because they're already in there and you actually won't be allowed to bring it on board. It will get confiscated from you. Another thing is irons. Don't take an iron because it will be confiscated. You're not allowed to take them. They pose a fire risk. They're a hazard risk and they're not allowed. Unfortunately not all cruise lines have a laundry room so p for example has a laundry room whereas Royal Caribbean doesn't. You can pay to get your clothes ironed and washed. It can work out a bit pricey if you're getting quite a lot of it done. So I just recommend just making sure your clothes are really well packed and maybe taking some anti-wrinkle spray to spray your clothes when you've hung them up in the wardrobe to kind of like, you know, get all the wrinkles out. You can also hang them up in the shower. So if you're having a shower and you're putting on a top or a dress or something tonight for the evening or even for in the day, hang it up in the shower and the steam will have to get out any cruises. Any cruises? Any creases. Talking of hangers, you don't need to take any with you. There will be some in the wardrobe and you can also ask your cabin steward if you want any more. Same goes with pillows and everything like that. You can always ask for more of them and they're always more than happy to help and get you some more. For sailing from the UK on an American ship, for example, Royal Caribbean or Princess Cruises, don't forget your travel adapters. You can buy these on board, but they are very pricey. I got mine for Poundland. I got an American one and a European one in a pack of two for a pound. I think there are normally two European and one US one, or one US one and two European, something like that, but they have both. So I'd recommend taking both plug adapters because you don't want to get on there and be like, oh my gosh, I can't charge anything, and then go to the onboard shop and spend a lot of money on chargers. And another thing is take a medical kit with you, just a basic, so plasters and everything. Paracetamol, you can buy these on the ship, but again, they are very expensive and it's not something you necessarily want to spend your money on. So don't forget anything like that and just general essentials like toothpaste. <laughs> don't take any spirits. Obviously check this, this varies from cruise line to cruise line. But generally you're not allowed to take any spirits or anything like that on board. What you are allowed to take is two bottles of wine. I think two bottles of a litre of wine per stateroom. So if you want to take any alcohol on board with you instead of just buying it on board and you actually want to take it so you can have it in your cabin then you can only take wine and I'd recommend taking this in your hand luggage because you don't want it to break and also it's really good because then you won't get called to security when you get on the ship and they want to open your case and see what these bottles are even if they're just wine they will want to check so you'll get called to security and you'll have to check them but if you have them in your hand luggage then you won't have any problems. Be aware that if you open the wine in a public place that like you need it to be uncorked. I think there's, most cruise lines have a corkage fee. But if you open this in your cabin, then there's not this fee, which is great. And you can also ask for like wine glasses from your cabin steward. You can ask for an ice bucket to put your wine in and you can have it in your cabin. And you can also take the glass out with you. So you could have it in your cabin and then fill up your glasses and take it out with you if you wanted to. It's up to you. Other prohibited items are actually non-alcoholic drinks. So you can't bring like um, juices or squash or anything with you. I know some people take the little ones and I think they're fine, but generally big things or squash and that you can't take with you, but there's loads of drinks on the ship anyway. You don't really need to take any. Another thing which I know people are not sure if they can take or not is extension cords. You're not allowed extension cords. Again, these pose a fire risk, they're hazardous and they're not allowed. But I mean, generally I don't have a lot to charge. I charge my phone in the evening. I don't charge my phone every day because I only take it off the ship. So I can like call for like emergencies if I need it. And I just charge my cameras in the evening. So I don't really use many plugs anyway. There's a hairdryer in the room, which is already plugged into like a separate plug socket. So 
that's kind of like separate, which is really good. No extension cables, but personally I think you have enough plugs in the room anyway. Depending on what cruise line you go with, you might want to take smart clothing for the formal evenings. I personally love the formal evenings. I love getting dressed up. If you want a really smart dress or a suit with a bow tie, or you can wear just a normal tie with a jacket and trousers, some nice brogues or something. So you don't have to, these aren't like things you have to do, but you won't be allowed to eat in the main dining room. For example, in Royal Caribbean, on the formal evenings, most people get dressed up anyway. I think most people enjoy doing it. I love it personally. My partner Aaron loves it. We just really enjoy it because we don't go to many things where we can get dressed up. So it's really nice that you can like put in the effort and get dressed up. You're just not allowed to eat in the main dining room, but you can go to the Windjammer and other places to eat. But personally, I really love it. So just bear that in mind that you might need to take a formal outfit with you. If you really don't want to wear one, you don't have to because you can always eat somewhere else on the formal evenings. Again, this one varies from cruise line to cruise line, but most of them provide beach towels. So again, I'm just going to use Royal Caribbean as an example because I'm actually, when you watch this video, I'll be currently on the Independence of the Sea. So I'm using that as an example because that's the one I'm going on literally in a few days. So on the Independence and other Royal Caribbean ships, you have like this kind of like, it's a towel station. So you go, they scan your sea pass card and then they give you the towel. And then when you take it back, they scan it again so they know you've returned it. So you can take these off the ship and everything. Obviously make sure you return them and get your card scanned when you return them because otherwise you will be charged if you don't give these back. But they are essentially free because you're just kind of like putting a deposit on it in case someone does go away with it. So as you return it, it's not a problem. And another thing, if your cruise has certain activities on, maybe it has like an ice rink and stuff, don't forget to bring really thick socks and also jeans. So you don't wanna just take summer clothes with you, even if you are going somewhere just sunny, because they will not allow you on the ice rink if you have shorts or a dress on, you need jeans, like something on your legs. And also the big thick socks are really great because you have to wear socks and the thick ones stop you from getting blisters, which is brilliant. So that's all of the items not to take. And I have one more thing to take, which is a carry-on suitcase. So as you get to the docks, they'll take your suitcases and they'll take them to your cabin for you. I always have a suitcase of my valuables to wheel on with me because it's not really that much of a problem and I really wanna make sure they're safe. So for example, I have my cameras in there, my jewelry, my makeup, anything that will break, anything that's a valuable, my laptop, chargers and everything will all be on that suitcase so I can just wheel it on. It just goes through the normal scanners and I can just wheel it on, go to my cabin and then leave it there while I go get lunch. So that's all of my things to take and not take on a cruise. Obviously, take your essentials, sun cream, aloe vera, but these are things specific to cruises I think you should take with you and things that you don't need to take or you're not allowed to take. Oh, another thing actually, take a pair of binoculars. I have a pair of binoculars and they're amazing. We've seen whales and dolphins before and having those binoculars is so good to be able to see them properly because sometimes they go alongside of the ship and sometimes they'd be behind it and in front of it. And if they're a little bit further away, especially whales, every time I've seen whales, they've been quite far away. And to use binoculars and to see them is amazing. So take some binoculars with you. Whenever there's whales or dolphins, me and Aaron just sit on the balcony and we just watch them and it's just incredible to see them just in the middle of the ocean, it's amazing. So I think that's everything and don't think I've left anything out. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will get back to you and I'll answer any questions that you have. So thanks so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can subscribe if you're new to my channel and you want to see more videos from me and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.